Good morning, my friends. Millions of Americans only have one more chance to claim an extra $1,400 stimulus check this year. Top lawmakers are now ready to sign the next stimulus relief bill into law that would send out inflation relief checks immediately. So, my friends, please make sure to watch until the end of this video. To learn how you can claim a brand new stimulus payment, also be sure to share this video on social media and with your friends and family if they need more honest stimulus news. If you would like to enter this coming Friday's $100 Walmart gift card giveaway, when I'll be giving away three $100 Walmart gift cards, friends, please listen for the keyword in this video. Well, we have a. a, a protect our democracy legislation, which we will be advancing. It's being led by uh, Mr. Uh, Adam Schiff and uh, Jamie, all of the, uh, captures many of those concerns. Uh, but we don't take it to court. We subpoena people. They take it to court. But the fact is uh, that we, uh, we, that's why we're going to criminal contempt here, because this, is, this goes beyond. On the discretion of the Justice Department. That does. That's a system of checks and balances. And again, we you will be seeing in November, I don't have a date, that we will be ready to come forward with our Protect Our Democracy legislation. And that captures many of the ideas that members have put forth in that regard. I don't know if the Republicans want to protect our democracy. So far, we haven't seen a lot of evidence of that. But according to a new report, the average price of one gallon of gasoline is $4. Gas prices reach a record high, and for most Americans, it is a difficult situation to pay higher prices at the gas pump. The Gas Rebate Act of 2022, which was introduced by Congress representatives Mike Thompson, John Larson, and Lauren Underwood, would give $100 to Americans due to the soaring gas prices. The bill is currently being negotiated on right now. Congress and the Senate want a gas stimulus payment to individuals earning $75,000 or less. For joint filers, lawmakers are trying to help couples who earn $150,000 or less. Dependents would be eligible for a $100 check per month. Individuals with an income between $75,000 and $80,000 a year will be eligible for stimulus funds, but with a reduction. There have also been tax rebates sent out to citizens in the state of Idaho, with these being issued to those individuals who were full-year Idaho residents for the years 2020 and 2021, and also filed income returns for both of those years. When it comes to the money that Idaho residents can receive, there is $75 for each taxpayer and each dependent or 12% of their 2020 taxes, whichever amount is bigger. That is what you will receive from the Idaho State Tax Commissioner's Office. There is also time to claim a third stimulus payment worth up to $1,400 per person. Eligible taxpayers who did not receive the payment or maybe do more money than they initially received are allowed to claim a tax credit on their 2021 federal tax return by the April 18th deadline. The vast majority of the third stimulus payments were automatically delivered to taxpayers' bank accounts or via check in the mail. The payments were authorized by the American Rescue Plan in March 2021 and were meant to help people who were struggling financially, all due to this crisis. But the payments were calculated last year based on the most recent federal tax return that they had on file. If a taxpayer's income or family size change in 2021, the individual may be eligible for much more money. Other people may have missed out on the stimulus payment altogether. Those with income so low that they don't usually file taxes may not have received their payment because the Internal Revenue Service did not have their information on file. The third round of stimulus payments is worth up to $1,400 per person. A married couple with two children, for example, can receive a maximum of $5,600. Families are allowed to receive up to $1,400 for each dependent of any age. Earlier rounds limited the payments to dependents under the age of 17. 
generally low and middle income U.S. citizens and U.S. resident aliens are eligible for either a full or partial third round stimulus payment. But these payments gradually phase out as household income increases. Friends, the key word for this video is Texas. If you would like to enter this coming Friday's $100 Walmart gift card giveaway, when I'll be giving away three $100 Walmart gift cards, friends, do make sure that you click and like several of my videos. Comment below this keyword, which is Texas, and additional keywords from any video of mine that you watch. And do verify that you're also subscribed to my channel. Thank you so much, friends. Taxpayers who earned less money in 2021 than the previous year may be eligible for more money than they initially received. Individuals and families who added a child in 2021 could also be eligible for additional money. Families that added another kind of dependent, such as an aging parent or grandchild, may also be eligible. So for those who believe that they are due more money, you must file a 2021 tax return. Those who believe they are due more money, please file a 2021 tax return, even if you don't usually file taxes, and then you can claim what's called the recovery rebate credit. If a taxpayer is eligible for more money, it will either reduce any tax that you owe for 2021 or be included in tax refund. In order to claim the recovery rebate credit, a taxpayer will need information that was sent in a letter from the IRS in the past couple of months. It is known as letter 6475. It confirms whether a taxpayer was sent a third stimulus payment and the exact amount. You can also receive this information by accessing your IRS online account. For most taxpayers, the federal tax return filing deadline is April 18, 2022, though it's a day later for residents of Maine and the state of Massachusetts. Taxpayers having difficulty meeting this deadline can file for an automatic six-month extension by using Form 4868. Well, my great friends, that is the end of my daily stimulus update video. Thank you so very, very much for everyone who is watching and who has joined me here today. I greatly appreciate every single one of you. To say thank you, I give away Walmart gift cards every Friday. If you would like to enter this Friday's Walmart gift card giveaway, simply click and like several of my videos. Comment below this keyword and additional keywords from any video of mine that you watch. And do make sure that you're also subscribed to my channel. Thank you so much, friends, and have a wonderful and blessed Tuesday.